All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, Great Millstone, who rule well. <clears throat> and salutation and much love. Yeah, I came out there pushing out this word in truth and sincerity. And uh, this is the brother Ash, Great Millstone Tampa, back with another video, Lord, as well as edifying. Just going to go in on this, uh, as you see in the picture here. I put it up in post production, but um, it says uh, this is an RT article. Or article on RT it says majority of Trump voters and 41 percent of Biden fans want to succeed from union. See other party as totalitarian. Totalitarian, okay. So what what is this going to show you, man? That America's divided, okay. It's only going to get worse, and we're going to keep telling you this until <laughs> until the missiles drop. All right, <clears throat> totalitarian says uh, definition. It says relating to a system of government that is centralized and dictatorial and requires complete subservience to the state. So this is a person advocating a totalitarian system of government. So this is what you have. What a uh, um, what the this administration is currently doing is they're telling you you have to submit, which is what ultimately going to the. The people worshiping the beast, his image, and ultimately going to receive his mark. All right. They're making you subservient. They're making you <laughs> comply. All right. Obey. All right. This man trying to sit. He's trying to be as the most high. Really? That's what he's trying to do. You know, telling you what you can and can't do. All right. But um, <clears throat> let's go. Let's start in Job 9 and 24 because... It's clear and evident that the person ruling, the people that are ruling this earth, all right, mainly here in America, we're talking about here, here in America, though, you know, because this is Babylon the Great, but he, the people that rule this place are who? Are the wicked. They're the Edomites, okay? Whether you want to believe it or not, all right, this is the wicked that the Bible speaks of. The ones that are telling you, take this, or you can't work. Take that, or we're going to take your kids. And soon they're going to tell you to get the mark of the beast. This is Job 9 and 24. It says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right. So the Lord, the Heavenly Father <clears throat> gave the, the, the wicked the earth, man, for a time being. And their time is running out. All right. Their time is coming to an end. That's why they're divided. All right. That's why. The, the, the very people that vote, uh, voted for this man, all right, Biden, are now saying this nigga's an idiot, okay? Because the, the Lord is stirring up strife. He's dividing this kingdom so that ultimately it, it, it's, it, it can crumble, and f all right, and fall, all right? This is exactly what happens to every empire that has risen. It, it's also fall. They've also uh, failed. Let's go to second, uh, second Ezra 6 and 9. It's, and it reads, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows so esau is the end of the world and we just read that the earth was given into the hand of the wicked all right pursuing the malachi chapter one it tells you that edom or esau is the wicked okay the border of wickedness man so this man everywhere he goes he brings wickedness with him okay he brings death destruction all right the thief coming but to steal all right kill and pillage, man. This this nigga, all he does is, is bring chaos into the earth. And now he's he's coming to an end. His rulership is coming to an end. And if you if you're able to see, all right, past all the bullshit, then you can see that, you know, through these all these uproars of the people, all these uh, all the chaos that's going around the world, all these uh, natural events that are taking place. All right, volcanoes blowing up, earthquakes taking place, uh, uh, oil spills. You got hurricanes, tornadoes, uh, 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 you know, record-breaking rains, flooding, all kind of thing, mudslides. This is clearly the, the 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 signs of the times that this place is is coming to an end. All right, and like our Lord said, the main the one of the main things you know you can tell that this place is falling is because of the division that's that's here in America <clears throat> and throughout the world, really, because America is not the only country in turmoil. Actually. The majority of the earth has been in turmoil uh, for a, a lot longer. All right. Protests everywhere. People clashing with the police. You know, look at Australia. Look at uh, France. And really damn near every country shit. This is uh, Mark 3. 
And uh, Mark chapter 3, verse 23 says, And he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. This is a kingdom. America is a kingdom, and it's divided. So how can it stand? This is a red letter. This is the Lord. The one people ignorantly call Jesus, all right, which is his true, holy, powerful name is Yahushai. He said, if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And again, you have America divided, all right? They're, they're talking about seceding, okay? They're talking about, okay, uh, um... Uh, disobeying the president okay you got people protesting anti this anti that okay verse 25 and it was and you got the military um quitting all right the, the military is divided as well a lot of them are about to get dishonorably discharged for not playing ball with what with, with their commander-in-chief has uh has mandated and see, here it is. Y'all thought we was crazy when we told y'all that the RFID market chip would be mandatory one day. And what are they doing? They're mandating things because they're getting you ready for that. Okay? They started with the the, the Vicky. All right? Mandating that. Well, guess what? They're going to mandate as well. The RFID market chip, like we've been saying. All right? Verse Mark 3 and 25. <clears throat> and if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but has an end. And now we're witnessing the end. Okay? We're witnessing the end of Esau's kingdom, man. Of Satan's uh, rulership on this earth. And I'm talking about the, the, the physical counterpart all right, of Satan. Because in uh, Revelation 20, it tells you about uh, that dragon, that old serpent with Satan and the devil. All right, these are people which we read earlier. That those are the people that the earth has been given into, the hand of the wicked, which is Esau, Edom. Esau is the end of the world. Okay, these niggas are divided, bro. They're they're, they're the curses. All right, pursuing the Deuteronomy thirty and seven, are are starting to fall upon our enemies. That's why they have an evil eye towards each other. These Edomites, they have an evil eye towards each other, man. And, and the, the elites of the society, the ones that actually call in shots and run into earth, they don't give a damn about their own people. So they damn sure don't give a shit about anybody else. You know? Let's go to uh, the book of Luke. <clears throat> Let's see here. This is Luke chapter 12, verse 51. It says, and again, this is the Lord speaking. He says, Luke 12 and 51, suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. So, hey, the division is here, man. The uproars, the, the sedition, okay? All these things that is, that is taking place, man. That's the Lord's bringing this, man. And it's only going to uh, continue to increase and intensify, okay? In verse 52, from, for from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided. Three against two and two against three. The father shall be divided against the son and the son against the father. The mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. So everybody going to be out here uh, divided, because the scripture talks about them of your own household shall be your foes, all right? People starting to turn each other in because of all this uh, uh, situation that's going on in the earth. Oh, well, he don't want to take the Vicky. Oh, we got to turn this nigga in. Oh, well, they taking the Vicky. We got to stay away from these people, you know. So it is a division on both sides, and, and they looking at each other with uh, uh, <laughs> some evil eyes, man. They Like, they want to they wanna kill each other, man. And it's going to get to the point where people are going to start butchering each other over these things, man. And especially when the food starts to run low, all right, which is about to go down, all right. A lot of things is about to change with all these uh, uh, um, boats being... Or, or cargo ships being uh being held in the ports, okay. So you know, your your best friend and your your family members, man, they're gonna come for your throat. And when you're looking for peace and safety, like uh, where they saying, oh, we can save your lives, just come and get this thing, and it'll you know we can get back to normal. And people are looking at, you know, looking for peace in the, in the, in these in these times right now that we're living in. But it's going to get a lot worse. <clears throat> Let's go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 3. It says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail 
upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. So nothing but destruction, death and destruction is coming for your ass. All right. There ain't no peace. It ain't going back to normal. OK, you, you, your family's not going to get together again and, and have a good Thanksgiving dinner and then eat some uh, ham hocks on Christmas. Nah, man, it's, it's, it's going to be fight, fight, fighting for your life very soon. OK, chaos, division. People butchering each other at the grocery stores once them shelves start to completely get wiped out. People waiting outside the grocery store with, looking for your uh, what you just got, okay? Because what you think, just because people are told they can't come into the grocery store if they're not vaginated, that that's going to stop them? Shit, okay. There are already the police departments quitting. A lot of police officers are quitting. So who's going to stop them? <laughs> the cashier? Yeah, okay. The, the security guard with a with a whistle and a in a in a in a some quarters to call nine one one, that nigga gonna be hungry too. So when these people that do get uh get the jab, you know, and then ultimately get the the chip, well you know what, that doesn't guarantee you food anyway, cause the shelves are gonna run clean. Yeah, they're gonna have safe zones and safety cities and whatnot. But the people that don't want to play ball, they're gonna come after your ass, cause they know you can go in the store and buy it. So they'll just wait outside for your dumb ass. All right. And then people invading one another, spoiling each other's goods for the what? For the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Right? Pursuing the second edge is 15. It ain't going to be better, man. I'm tell uh, I mean, the, the, the Lord is telling you, <laughs> you know, this is a, a Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter seven, verse 25 it says destruction cometh and they shall seek peace and there shall be none. So destruction is coming, man. The end is come. Okay. And so you can seek all the peace and safety you want, but it's you ain't gonna find none. You're not gonna find, uh, uh, you know, your 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 friendly neighborhood patrons anymore, man. Everyone's gonna be for themselves in these last days, unless you have the spirit of your how about Shimia was shy on your side, then you out you out here to fend for yourself, man. All right, and it's not looking very good, just to let you know. So um, let's see here, a couple two more, a couple more precepts here. Good Isaiah, Isaiah 48 and 22, Isaiah 48 and 22 says, there is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked, and who's ruling the earth right now, we read it earlier in Job 9, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, so guess what, there is no peace for the wicked, so what are you, you looking for peace, but the Lord said there is no peace for the wicked, they have to be stopped, and the only way they, they, they can be stopped is to bring their society down, have it collapse, have them divided, all right, bring death and destruction unto them. And then anybody that want to be joined hand in hand with the wicked, then they're going to, guess what? They're going to get punished right along with them, all right? So two-thirds of our people, they're going to, they're going to have to eat the, the, the <clears throat> they're going to have to feel the wrath of the Lord right along with Esau, uh, okay? All right, so they, you know, that was pretty much it, you know, they want, don't want to make this too long, but Lord's will just edify a... America's through, it's divided, and the uh, kingdom can't stand if it's divided. So with that, my wath, la ba ba, shalom.